something, uh, I'll get to Michael in a moment, but something I've noticed the last 48 hours is Tasmania is alive with the fever about the new football club. It's quite extraordinary. Over 100,000 new members and rising. It's a great footy state. Let me go to a couple of questions on that issue if I can. Premier, first of all, 375 million. Is that a, that's what you've capped your funding at. Does it risk a funding black hole for the stadium? Uh, no, we've been very clear. Firstly, can I say it's fantastic that we've got 100,000 or more uh, new members for uh, the Tassie Devils. And that speaks volume about the pride that Tasmanians have in their own team. And I'm so incredibly proud of Tasmanians uh, for what we have achieved. Uh, the stadium is part of bringing the AFL team uh, to Tasmania. So we can bring the aspiration and give our kids that aspiration, our boys and girls, uh, to play in the national competition for their own uh, AFL team and their own song, their own colours. It's fantastic. The AFL stadium, of course, which is more than just an AFL stadium. It's about also bringing uh, entertainment uh, from internationally and the mainland as well, right here to Tasmania. Yes, we will not spend a red cent over $375 million. Uh, one spent only, that's all, and the rest, of course, will come from uh, the private sector. Uh, what is important also is that this is an economic enabler where we invest in key infrastructure, like we're investing in health, like we're investing in schools, uh, like we're investing in bridges and roads across Tasmania. We can have both in Tasmania. We can secure our own AFL team and invest in the areas that I know Tasmanians really care about, and that is cost of living, uh, health, housing and our schools. Would you just dump the team? Are you willing to dump the club? Because if they say it's stadium or club, what do you choose? The team is at risk under us, and I want to make that really clear. I'm a very proud and passionate footy supporter. I bought my foundation membership along with our young family because I want Tasmanians to have their own team, both men's and women's team. Um, and there's, I think, a lot of people who share that view as well. It doesn't mean that we agree there needs to be a stadium, though, and that the Premier's just admitted now that he's walked away from the deal he signed with the AFL because what that deal says is that the state is responsible for all of the cost overruns with that stadium. So whoever wins on Saturday will have to renegotiate that deal. I've been very clear that it's not our priority to put taxpayer funds into a project like that when we've got people who can't access healthcare, who haven't got housing. Our education outcomes are the worst in the nation. I want a Tassie team as much as anybody else who wants a Tassie team, and that won't be at risk. But I'll also stand up for Tasmania, and my urgent priority is tackling cost of living. With respect, Rebecca, the deal is the deal. And it's well, you've already walked away from no, it, No, I haven't. I haven't. The cost overruns will be yes. supported by uh, the private sector. Uh, this is a deal that has secured a four-decade-old dream. So there have been generations of Tasmanians uh, fighting to have our own AFL team. What is great is that we'll have future generations playing for their own AFL team, which is fantastic. Not only will the stadium bring an economic opportunity in those 4,000 jobs on construction, uh, but also the aspiration and the, our kids uh, can have that hope of playing for their own team in their own colours, their own song. Let's just have a reality check here. This is a, a team that everybody was behind. It was united, the Tasmanian community behind a team. I asked you in Parliament whether the team was contingent on a stadium. You said no. And now apparently it is. The and may the I also time. say, before you interrupt me, may I also say, where are these magical investors from the private sector going to come from? You've had two years to get them to come in behind your project. They don't exist. This is a project you never took to Cabinet which is just in breach of every appropriate governance standard imaginable for a project of this size. And you've also admitted it wasn't costed by Treasury. That is irresponsible. Uh, with respect, uh, Rebecca, it's in the budget, uh, as was the High Performance Centre as well. Uh, this is a key opportunity. The AFL deal has done. Uh, you are not telling the truth when you say they're going to rip up the deal and renegotiate it because the, the, mirror, AFL, think, the AFL me? have said themselves uh, that uh, the deal uh, is the deal. Uh, what we've brought to Tasmania is what generations of Tasmanians have fought so hard for and future generations uh, will play 
uh, for their own AFL team, which I'm very proud of indeed. Uh, with respect, uh, you're not right in what you've just said. Uh, this is a huge opportunity for Tasmania, well, it and it's trusted, fantastic. It wasn't uh, costed by Treasury. You said that. It didn't go to Cabinet. You said that. With respect, uh, Rebecca, uh, 100,000 Tasmanians have signed up uh, to the Tassie Devils, and that speaks volumes. It is fantastic, and every step of the way, Tasmanians have known exactly where I stand. I recognise uh, that maybe more people in this room, uh, more than 50%, uh, don't agree with the stadium, but you cannot deny uh, that everyone's known uh, where I stand and what I stand for and what I believe in. Uh, with respect to yourself, Rebecca, uh, you've been all over the place on this, trying to kill the team and the dream every step of the way, or maybe not. Uh, at least people know uh, where I stand.